Hey everybody, this is Ash from the Triple S League with a guided tour to the guts, the gravity utility tunnel system in Prey. This is a series of tunnels that you're going to use to travel to different parts of the station. It's actually a fairly simple system. There are only two tunnels, but because it's zero gravity, uh, it's easy to get disoriented and turned around. And also the map can be a little confusing if you don't know what's going on at first. So I just wanted to make this guide to sort of clarify a few things and and hopefully save you some frustration as you're trying to navigate this area so first I'm going to show you how the map works because this is really important so basically you've got two tunnels that are traveling parallel to one another you've got the maintenance tunnel and you've got the cargo tunnel now these tunnels are traveling vertically up and down and it's important to keep this in mind as you're going through these tunnels you're not traveling you know northwest east south relative to the rest of the station you are traveling up or down through these tunnels so this is Psychotronics. This is where I'm standing now. And as you can see, once I enter the tunnel, it becomes zero gravity. And the tunnel immediately begins traveling upward. So now if I look at the map, I'm, I'm now in the maintenance tunnel. So I was here, I came this way, I'm in the maintenance tunnel, and now I'm traveling up and down. This part of the map is mostly useless right now aside from telling you which tunnel you're in don't bother using this view cone to try and figure out which way you're facing in the tunnel it's not really calibrated to the vertical nature of the tunnel so you can literally just change your your view direction a few degrees and you're immediately facing the opposite direction on the map so it's basically useless for figuring out which way you're actually facing but this area here this is an important part of the map uh, this shows you which level you're on. Uh, so you can click through these and see the map on each of the levels of the station that the tunnels connect to. And um, as you can see, there's some important areas that connect to the tunnels that I'll show you in a minute. This person icon will appear in the leftmost box for whichever level you're on. And the rightmost box will contain icons if you have any objectives that are active on those levels. So if you're trying to get to uh, you know, a location for a particular objective, uh, this will tell you which level it's on. So we're starting at engineering level A, which connects to psychotronics, as I just showed you. Uh, so we're in the maintenance tunnel, and the maintenance tunnel runs vertically up to the research level, where it connects to the cargo tunnel. The maintenance tunnel does not go all the way to the executive level. It ends at the point where it connects to the cargo tunnel. Now the cargo tunnel, on the other hand, runs through all five of these levels. Now on the transitional level, it almost looks like there's two cargo tunnels. Actually what's happening here is the tunnel is just jogging over a bit. There's just a curvature. You travel horizontally for a bit and then you continue traveling uh, vertically downward at that point. That's basically all there is to it. Two tunnels running vertically and at one point they connect to each other. So I'm starting back at Psychotronics now to show you what things are like inside the actual tunnel. Psychotronics, probably the first entrance you're going to use as I said before, you immediately start traveling upward. There's a lot of junk in here, a lot of debris that you can throw around. There's also a lot of uh, useful items that you can pick up. There's also a lot of engineering operators if your suit needs repairs. So once you get in here in the maintenance tunnel, what I do is I consider this pipe covered by a grating here. I consider that to be the floor. So for me, that's always down. And then where all of these colored pipes are up there, I call that the ceiling. Then no matter which way I go, no matter how turned around I get, I can just reorient myself and then uh, things are less confusing. All doorways and a lot of other areas are labeled. There's a sign over there that says Psychotronics, so I know that's where I just came from. So I know that if I'm trying to progress up the tunnel, I go this way. Now once you get about here to the transitional level, uh, you're going to start to encounter a lot of cystoids and cystoid nests that could become a hassle. So the cystoid nests, you see here's some uh, here's some dead ones that I killed. Cystoid nests, while well, you get close, they release a bunch of cystoids. And the cystoids, they try to swarm you and then they self-destruct and try to kill you. There's a couple of ways you can deal with them. You can grab some random debris and uh, chuck it at the nests. And then uh, the cystoids will, you know, they'll follow that and they'll attack that instead. So that's one way to deal with them. You can use your Huntress Bolt Caster. Um, they'll, they'll track the bolt and they'll attack that as well. So that's another way to deal with them. Or you can just 
go old school and shoot them. This is uh, definitely a less efficient way. Once you kill one cystoid in a cluster, they will all die. But it takes several shots to kill one, and it's very difficult to hit the same one over and over again. So it might take quite a few shots to, to actually destroy the, the uh, swarm of cystoids. You can also shoot the cystoid nests to cause them to burst if you want. Lots of things around here to collect. Like I said, you can find quite a few med packs in these different areas. And when you get to this point, there's this busted doorway. Um, don't get too close to that control panel. Uh, it'll electrocute you, which is basically a one-shot kill. A um, couple things you can do. You can either hit it with your glue gun and then zip through there. You, or, or you can run up and repair that. Or you can just travel through this... Uh, this fan enclosure here. And this will take you to the other side of the doorway. There are cystoids in here the first time you come through, so be aware of that. You'll want to clear them out before you go through here. Once you get to the research level, there's this area called the magnetosphere controls that you're going to need to visit in order to progress further down the tunnel. You need to get a key card to open that door down there. I suppose it's probably hackable as well. I didn't actually try to do it that way. But if you're going for the key card, You've got to travel into here through uh, this opening into the magnetosphere controls. Now this is going to flip me around because I'm I was upside down relative to the rest of the station because of the way I was traveling. But uh, anyway, here in the magnetosphere control room. Now this thing is going to release uh, energy bursts at regular intervals. You don't have to worry about it too much. It doesn't really damage you. It just knocks out your equipment for a few seconds. But you're actually going to have to travel into this chamber. There's a guy's body floating around in there. You need to actually go in there and get his keycard in order to progress further down the tunnel. The tricky part with this is you don't really want to be in there while it's doing this. So, what you need to do for this is travel over through this door here, up the stairs. There's another door there you travel through. That'll take you through to that opening there. So wait for the plasma shockwave to fire, then travel through this opening, get to that guy's body as quickly as possible, grab the key card, and get back out through this uh, through this doorway before the next shockwave goes off, or you're dead, basically, is what you have to do. So. Have fun with that. It's a lot of... <laughs> it can be very tricky because it's also zero gravity in there. Once you've got the key card, come on back out to the tunnel and you'll be able to progress through the doorway. Now, this is pretty ominous in here. You can see the golden filaments, which are evidence that you've got some weavers here in the cargo tunnel. So this is the point where the cargo tunnel uh, connects to the maintenance tunnel. So we've just travel, we're traveling through this connection point here and we're about to enter the cargo tunnel. This way is traveling up the cargo tunnel. And I just keep my same orientation here. If you travel up the tunnel, that takes you to the Arboretum. If you travel down the tunnel, that takes you to the cargo bay and the shuttle bay. And as you can see, there's a weaver there that I haven't killed yet. You don't have to fight them. They're kind of a pain. They, they create cystoids that, that try to swarm you. I find it's easier to just try and zip past them. Now you've got to watch out because there are a number of radioactive things sitting around here. These canisters here, they are radioactive. If you get too close to them for too long, you're going to get radiation sickness from them, um, which is just kind of a pain. I mean, all you have to do if you get radiation sickness is uh, use a bottle of your anti-rad uh, because the future is awesome. Now you get to this point... Um, this is that point I showed you on the map where the tunnel jogs over a bit before continuing downward. Now you can travel through that way, uh, but that'll take you pretty close to another radioactive canister. So I like to go actually up in here and just travel through this pipe. It takes you to exactly the same spot, but uh, you're, you're able to keep a little more distance from the radioactive canister. And that's where we would have come out if we went the other way. Now in this area, uh, there's another weaver in this area, which I've killed. So here's the door to the shuttle bay and fuel storage. So fuel storage is this area that you see on your map here. So you travel through the door, out the tunnel, and uh, just across, and you'll get to a door that takes you to the shuttle bay area of the station. It's outside of the guts. And if you continue on down, there is a technopath here. 
And so once you get to the end of the tunnel here, there's a door into the cargo bay. Okay, so we're back at the junction point between uh, the maintenance tunnel and the cargo tunnel. So if I start traveling up the tunnel again, this is what's going to take us to the Arboretum. There's really not all that much to this segment of the tunnel. There, there are some cystoid nests that you'll need to deal with. These are just dead eels. <laughs> because everybody eats eels in arcane games for some reason. And then uh, once you get to the end of the tunnel, there's just a door into the Arboretum. So that's basically it. That's the guts of the station. I hope this was helpful. If you're finding these guides helpful, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will talk to you in the next guide. Hey everybody, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps us out a ton when you do that. Check out this video. It's one of our favorite things that we've done so far on our channel. And here's some more stuff you might like.